Hi, Chris from Florida Drone Supply, and today we're gonna to do a quick video on the onboard lighting that is on the Teledyne FLIR Cyrus drone. While this drone has lights installed underneath each motor, white in the front and red on the back, this particular setup does not meet the FAA requirements for nighttime flight. The Cyrus gives you an option to have the standard lights as the solid color, or with a simple menu change, you can have them blink or completely turn them off. To access this menu function, press the three dots at the top right, select the control menu, and you will see the lighting option. You will see your lighting choices to select from, and these can be changed prior to or during your flight we do not recommend that you turn these lights off. This aircraft at night would be next to impossible to see without any illumination on it. And to be in compliance with the FAA laws for nighttime flights, you must have anti-collision strobes installed on this drone. And Florida Drone Supply can help you with that by the way these firehouse strobes that can be mounted to the top or bottom or sides of the aircraft with Velcro. And these lights come in various different colors, but for anti-collision, make sure you're setting them to the white or the red color setting. And the FAA law states that you must have a strobe cycle with 40 to 100 strobes per minute and have a visibility of three statute miles. For directional lighting, you could always add more of the firehouse lights to the arms, and usually people use green and red so they know which direction the aircraft is facing and heading in low light situations. Thanks for watching this video on the Teledyne FLIR Cyrus onboard lighting and the FAA nighttime flight rules. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.